Your little brother resembles the koala bear Obama once held. Nigga, straight up and down. And listen to Sanaa, Nathan and Dage, Loaf Emotional, nigga, straight up, because that's what you and your homeboys is. This is what y'all did drills to, nigga, straight up, nigga. Your show enough last dragon, 1997 Buster Rhymes, Booker T, Face said, nigga. Now come here, nigga, straight up and down. I got something to tell Slap! This is how I got to get down, nigga. Get your mind right, nigga. I ain't really had nothing to tell you, nigga. I just wanted to, you know, do what I had to do to you now. We want to talk about the last video I put out with Terrence Gangster Williams saying what he said about Boosie and saying that he needed some Marlo Mike something, you know, because he messed his life up. And he's straight up, you know? And it's crazy because when Boosie was in this situation, if we could go back and we could remember, bro, you know, it was Marlo Mike that was due to testify, bro. Now I'm here to show y'all the update on how it's going on in his life, even though it really ain't no update because it's been out for over at least four years now. Probably three, you know what I'm saying? And they did them dirty, you know what I'm saying? The people is saying that, you know, Boosie is making his life difficult behind there, but at the same time, you got to understand, what if it's Nussie people that's really doing that, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of other people, family, that he had got up out of here, bro. So you got to understand, bro, you don't know who people that is. You can't solely put this on Boosie, but I am going to show y'all a little clip of Marlo Mike getting, you know, rocked to sleep, and he ended up getting snuffed, man. He ended up trying to run, you know what I'm saying, off the tip. You know what I'm saying? I can't really show y'all when it connect, but just know that he hit them harder than the baseball bat, brother. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you got to understand this whole campaign of free Boosie going on when Boosie was back there. And he was in population. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what this nigga on the left going to do now that Boosie is free. You see what I'm saying? You know, is it still there to this day? If it is, brother, you should have got laser surgery, brother. I feel sorry for you, but you're a Boosie rider. He need a record deal. You understand what I'm saying? But back to Marlo, man. You know what I'm saying? He back here. He was taking tough guy pictures and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? One of the top steppers of Baton Rouge and all of that. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm here to show you what happened to the stepper. You see what I'm saying? Because everybody won't agree with him and everybody wanted to test that. You know, when you get back there, you know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, show what you about from the shoulders. All you got to show you what you about from that arm. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't doing that, then at the end of the day, you ain't no force to be reckoned with any day. See, the thing is, these people that's doing this to Marlo, you know what I mean? If they was on the streets with Marlo, they would respect Marlo, nigga, because guess what? You know Marlo get you up out of here. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, he ended up getting done dirty. You know what I'm saying? And we don't know who's doing this is. We can't solely put this up on Boosie. But at the same time, this is why he'll never send him anything. You see what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, when he was supposed to be testifying and stuff like that, you know, things went down. But y'all go ahead on and y'all look at this, and I'm going to be back with y'all. That's straight, Mo. I'm about to get hold up. I'm going to tell you right now. Hurry up. Take your lick. Don't run. Don't run. See, he ran. What the hell for? Yeah, I should have come. Now you see how that went, man. Now back to what I was saying. Due to him about to, you know, testify on Boosie, you see what I'm saying? It seems that, you know, word through the wind allegedly that, you know, a couple of Marlo Mike's family members wind up, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, done for, I want to say. You know what I'm saying? So we don't know is that why he backed out of doing that. But at the same time, you know, T.I. insinuate that Boosie got rats around him. And, you know, um, Terrence Gangster Williams is as well. So, I mean, at the end of the day, is Boosie going to clear this up? Do we have to clear this up? You know, I don't know. You know, I'm just bringing this story to you because at the end of the day, he says that he take a lot of people image like Lil Nick. You know what I'm saying? You know, and, you know, he got a lot of people around him. Ruger Rev, you see what I'm saying? He got, you know, real people that really slain that iron and that done really did time and really laid it down. You know what I'm saying? Behind slain that iron. You see what I'm saying? They try to say that Boosie tried to take their image and, you know, a, a lot of other his, because, you know, Boosie got family, you know what I'm saying, that really is in this camp that y'all don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? That's real hitters, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if you were raised by hitters and around hitters, I'm going to go ahead on and call him a hitter, man. That is what it is. I don't care what Baton Rouge got to say, you know what I'm saying, that Boosie won't tough this and Boosie won't tough. Ain't nobody touch him yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying niggas did. You know what I'm saying? You talk about 
the Big Marquis situation allegedly and all this stuff, you know what I mean, with the two-piece song that Big Marquis put out and all this. And they say Nussie did it, but it was Big Marquis. You know what I'm saying? And that's what they said in the comments. Let's recite it, you know, Clear that up. But at the same time, you know, that's just a fight, bro. Who cares about that, man? Nigga big. You see what I'm saying? So it is what they don't take nothing from Boosie. What it is is nobody actually keep on, you know, playing with Boosie. You know what I'm saying? They call him the king of BR for a reason. They call him boss man for a reason. You know what I mean? Because he well respected, man. And at the end of the day, niggas got to respect it, bro. Because at the end of the day, Somebody jacket that ain't, you know, fully clean, such as Terrence against the Williams, you really can't speak on the hitters that Boosie was around and, you know, what Boosie do and how Boosie do it and stuff like that because at the end of the day, you don't know that Marlo Mike and Boosie has no more relationships. So at the end of the day, he's not going to be sending him anything, man. The only thing he's going to be sending him is, you know, a, a fresh pair of, you know, knuckle sandwiches, man, as you can see. You see what I'm saying? I really can't show the whole thing. But at the end of the day, man, the dude was basically saying, you know what I'm saying, all this gangster-ish, you see what I'm saying, and he running. You know what I'm saying? You know? So y'all got to think about it, bro. You know what I mean? When you on that line and when you out there and you doing time and you doing your wrongs, bro, you got to understand it ain't no hammers behind there, man. And it ain't nobody you could call. You can't call for your cousin. You can't call for him to come bring the iron. You can't call your brother. You can't go head on. You can't call nobody. You know what I'm saying? The only thing you could call is commissary. And when you get that, nigga's going to get in your locker and get all that because you can't hide nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Because you made it that way because you wanted to sit here and you wanted to act like something that you want. But at the same time, I don't feel like Boosie is any, you know, less gangster for having a young hit or whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, he's seen an opportunity to make people respect him, and that's just like he started that in BR. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he the first one to send hits and stuff like that, allegedly. I'm saying that he the first one to make it a known thing as a rapper and everybody try to do after him, talking about they going to send it and all of this, man. All that came from Boosie, man. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, Marlo Mike, man, it's not being easy for him back there. It ain't never been easy for him back there. What I suggest he do is, you know what I mean, just go ahead on and, and go to PC or something if he ain't already in there, bro, because it been people diving on him since he been back there. You know what I mean? And you got to understand this, man. Niggas been jumping on him like a trampoline, and ain't nobody coming to his defense, and don't nobody want him on the platform. But hopefully if somebody get him up on the platform, he could clear all this up. You know what I'm saying? Because we ain't saying he been getting jumped on like a trampoline ever since he been back there. But at the end of the day, his name been ringing bells back there before he got back there. So you can't take that from him, man. And you can't, you know what I mean, get mad at Boosie for him being a youngster at one time, taking advantage of another youngster, I guess, man. It's still happening to this day. You know what I mean? So with that said, man, it's the 100 mob. Bye, boom, mouth. I'm out.